so keen to have this amazing, amazing, this amazing. amazing angel here, Hope D. How are you going? Good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm so glad to finally meet you. We've been DMing for literally years. Yes. Because yes. I know your sister from Brisbane, yeah. Anastasia, uh-huh. who is like the opposite person to you, yes. but equally as lovely and fabulous. Thank you. I've listened to your music since I think like one of your first songs. I think Anastasia posted about it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is so good. All my friends are obsessed with it. And now look where we are, babe. I know. I know. It is actually so strange to think about. <laughs> it's hey. so exciting. It's so cool. So you're here because you have a new album that's just come out. Mm-hmm. Tell us a bit about it. How did we get there? Yeah, um, long time coming. It's uh, It was meant to come out like last year in October and then we moved it. And now it's um, finally out and it feels amazing. And it's just like a massive collection of songs that I've written from like five years old to like less than a year old, I guess. So why do those five year old songs take so long to come to fruition? Are you working on them? Are you kind of on them and off them? Yeah, on them and off them. And then also like you play them live all the time and then you finally have the chance to record and then you record them, I guess. Mm. And then you finally release them. And it's annoying because they're five years old to you, but for some people they're like, new like edging yourself yes but everyone else is like wow yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, exactly that oh my god amazing so exciting so you got number 60 something 69 yeah yeah yeah, in the hottest 100 in 2020 with second which is one of my favorite songs of all time thank you i listen to it all the time oh that's awesome my ex and i still will be like how good this song is like it's genuinely amazing so what's what's the goal for this year because I mean, you got into the Hottest 100 very early two years ago, mm. three years ago now. Mm. With this new album, what are we feeling? Man, I just want people to hear it and to cry at the sad songs and laugh at the funny ones, I guess. Oh, they're funny ones. Comedy Kinda. album. <laughs> <Hopefully> <laughs> yeah. comedy album. A there everyone's side with the keyboard going... Da, 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 yeah, da. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. No, there's just like a song about like hating hospitality. It's called Muffin of the Day. Oh, my God. Yeah. Babe, I'm a hospital queen as well. I'm like... I like uh, cafe. Mm. I work to boost juice. Amazing. Um, Amazing. I have, yeah, babe, I understand the pains. Thank you. Um, but so I asked you before what you're doing for Pride. Uh huh. And I'm just a bit, I don't want to like, I don't want to out you on national radio, mm. which feels like kind of homophobic, but actually maybe you're the homophobic one because. You're not doing anything for Pride. Uh, yeah, I think I d- deserve this, what's coming. I'm not doing anything for Pride. I just kind of, I didn't forget about it uh, or anything like that. <laughs> it sounds like you did. No, I, no, no, no. I didn't forget. No, 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 I, knew, I very much I knew it was coming. I very yeah. much knew that. I'm actually going to be celebrating it though. How? By acknowledging that it's happening and drinking a beer by myself. I'm going to be celebrating. I'm going to still be you celebrating. have to come down for Pride. For, to Sydney. Well, what's? I'm actually going to be here though. Like, no joke. I will You're going to be, gonna be in for, Sydney? Yeah, for Pride. Just walk on Oxford Street once yes. and then I'll say you've done something. Yeah, please. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I, will, I will send you a video of me Touch doing the it. mural. There's a big mural at the moment. Just touch uh-huh. it and send me a photo and I'll go, wow, gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I earned it. I will, I will be Queer card. Yeah. Re- reinstated. Um, so you're doing two songs for us. You're doing yes. Emerald uh-huh. and... Doormat. Doormat. Yes. God, sorry, my brain is not working today. So I'm so starstruck. Um, tell us about the songs. Yes, um, Emerald is a song that uh, is like five years old and I wrote it when I was in first year uni and I wanted someone to like me so I was pretending to like all the things that they liked so they mm. could like me but then I just didn't really know anything about what they were, what they liked and I had to like learn all this stuff and I was like, man, this is an effort and mm. so that made me learn to just be yourself. Isn't second like the opposite of that? Second is about going to work hungover. Is so it kind what? of. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, a little bit about that. Well, I get kind tricked of actually. by lyrics. No, I never they get are. it right. I also stutter a lot. Yeah. But also, the second <laughs> second's also like about going to work hungover and about yeah, self sabotaging relationships, I guess. But yeah. Emerald is about Emerald. like yeah, about em- joyous thing. Yes, yes, yes. What did you do at uni? Music. I'm kind of still there. Right. Okay. Yes. I think I'm gonna say like accounting or something Ooh. like kooky. You no, know what no, I mean? No. So did you ever get the girl? Yeah, I did. And what happened? We didn't have much in common. Because you lied. You didn't have a whole personality. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Duh. Sorry, there's just been so, so turns many. out when you lie about your entire personality to get someone to yeah. like you, it actually doesn't work. Did you? No. Ended, do you remember if she ended it all? Oh, no, I did. It just, oh, because you were like, actually, you suck and all the things you like suck. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be true to yourself, babe. I know. You know? Just be yourself. Just be who you are. Yeah. Um, and then Doormat is about. It's nice to realize that. Yeah. Doormat is about a breakup that I went through that was um, very, very hard. And uh, we lived together and it was very beautiful and very sad when it ended. And so mm. it's a relationship song about that relationship. About the actual relationship. Yes, indeed. Were you and the doormat? The breakup. Um, I related myself to the doormat. I did. But, you know, it's a whole story. It's a whole story that you can listen to. And we're going to hear it. Ro- good segue. And we're going to hear it right now. Let's yeah. rock on. Cool. <laughs> yeah, rock on. Also, doormat was written with Brando, who was playing it with me. So it's a collaboration. Oh, it's a collab. A collab. Oh, feet. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Love, love a good feat. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Thank you. Secrets from my parents again, and why I'm lying through my teeth, cause they just care so much when the little girl is crying, and there's nothing they can do. But they say maybe one day you'll be together, and it'll all be okay. But a breakup isn't a breakup Because a break sounds so neat and clean And it's not simple And God, I feel so little I'm tired and fatiguing in my feet for dreams You don't want me to get the wrong idea But you're the one who's touching my back You say you don't want to keep leading me on when you're the one who's asking me back to your house But what happened to our house? And honey, I'm still paying rent You can try and sugarcoat the fight But the truth is, I'm your doormat Yeah, of course you made me so sad I had no invite, you didn't invite me And I didn't come without one, but you knew that So of course I was crying, cause that's my home And all of my friends were there as well But they know nothing, cause I'm keeping all this to myself And I don't wanna see you after you have kissed someone else this really is a breakup Because I feel so broken and unclean And it's not simple And God, I feel so little I'm tired and fatiguing in my fever dream You don't want me to get the wrong idea But you're the one who's touching my back You say you don't want to keep leading me on When you're the Lost can be back to your house, but what happened to our house? And honey, I'm still paying rent. You can try it, sugarcoat the fact, but the truth is, I'm your doormat. Cause you're the- 
Australian made on Hot Nights at the Abbey and here we have Hope D playing Emerald. of a band that I don't know, so I pretend that I am the number one fan, but she's talking about a song I haven't heard, and damn, this isn't going as planned, I grab my drink with a shake in hand, I pretend it's all going fine, but I'm really just thinking if I get another drink while my car decline. I don't smoke cause I'm broken, I'm scared that my lungs will break and never be repaired, but tonight I'm a smoker, if that makes you move closer, I gotta win you over, but I'm so not sober. How do I make myself one you cannot live without, someone you dream about? How do I make myself one you cannot live without? Someone you dream about? I don't know. But I gotta know soon. Because I'm so in you. Got that emerald shining through. Not that brown and not that blue. They were different to you. Last month, and it just so happens to be my favorite one. So I say, How did you find it? Say she didn't like it, oh my, well, hey, neither did I all lie just so I can fit that shape, even though it just might be a big mistake. How do I make you like me? Is it very likely, but I'll do what it takes. I don't smoke because I'm broke and I'm scared that my lungs will break, they'll never be repaired. But tonight I'm a smoker. If that makes you move closer, I gotta win your elbow, but I'm totally sober. How do I make myself one you cannot live without, someone you dream about? How do I make myself one you cannot live without but someone you dream about?